Does the government work for us or do we work for the government? What if we never really had freedom tonight? What if we only think that we're free? What if freedom is just a myth? What if it's the kind of myth that allows the establishment to orchestrate conformity? What if the population thinks we have freedom and self-determination, but in reality, everything we do is based on a blueprint molded to the shape that the elites desire? What if the choices that we make come from a menu that the government has written? What if every time society uncovered natural rights and the natural law, the government was not far behind, ready to insert its artificial laws before we all got carried away with freedom? What if for every law that is innate and true and immutable, there is another law that is completely man-made and utterly fictional and destructive of freedom? What if this was done to distort our understanding of reality and sense of purpose? What if the natural law was liberating to human beings, but dangerous to the government because it signified that the rule of law exists outside of the government? What if that's why government demands a monopoly on violence and a monopoly on articulating the law? What if the government is afraid that if you exercise your natural rights, you could dilute the power of government? What if freedom was actually our birthright, a part of our humanity, along with the gift of free will? What if Jefferson was right, and we are all endowed by our creator with the inalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness? What if the government doesn't accept that? What if the natural law was co-opted by government in order to rob us of that birthright, to pull the wool over our eyes, and to replace a real freedom that derives from our humanity with an artificial sense of freedom that exists at the pleasure and the mercy of the government? What if the Constitution has been amended by consensus? What if those who have taken an oath to uphold it, almost to a person, have agreed not to do so? What if in this way our Constitution has become meaningless? What if in this way our Republic has been turned into the very thing the Constitution was written to prevent? What if we really have mob rule where the majority gets its way, right or wrong? What if the government put your rights up to a vote? What if a majority voted to take away the rights of persons in groups it's ha it hated or fears? What if the voters got to approve your ownership of property or the size of your income or even your choice of a spouse? What if the idea of government-enforced fairness was a way to deceive us? What if the demand for fairness was just another way to neutralize the rule of law and force it to submit to the rule of government? What if the government could get your income before you do? What if the government just took that income and gave it away in your name? What if the government persuaded a majority to think that somehow its theft of your property was in pursuit of fairness? What if corporations and government have forged an unholy alliance? What if the idea of government regulation of business was just a way for some corporations to insert themselves into the machinery of government? What if those corporations became the tools of government to stamp out competition, to stifle the free market, and to maintain dominance? What if the American corporate scene is full of zombie companies, trudging on, on despite inefficiencies, lack of profits, low quality of goods and services, because they are animated no longer by the free market and the free choices of consumers seeking the best goods and services, but rather they exist at the pleasure and the mercy and because of the largesse of the government? What if the economy is moribund precisely because the government is trying to revive it? What if we didn't have a chance to do anything about this because both the Republican wing and the Democratic wing of the big government party each sought to maintain this unfree status? What if these presidential primaries mean nothing because the groups running them were simply different flavors of the same progressive tendency to expand both the welfare and the warfare state? What if what's best for you can never be determined objectively by one central government, but must consistently be renegotiated by you, by free people operating in an environment free from aggression, where no one can dictate for another what's best for him? What if you could secure your freedom by telling the government enough is enough? What if a selfish defense of your property enhanced everyone's freedom? What if the best government really is the one that governs least? What if you could ignore the government? What if you could shrink the government down to the confines of the Constitution? What if the natural law really did trump the government's law? What if we could be truly free to pursue our own happiness? What if we had the courage to make this happen? From New York, defending freedom.